So let's start this whole set of meetings and let's start this. This is kind of, to me, the starting point for 2022. I know we're in it a bit, but spiritually tonight is kind of the starting point for this, this year, to me. So Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come together as your people. We are the bride, you are the bridegroom, and we are longing and hungering for more of you. More intimacy, closer presence, uh, better at being able to hear your voice. Lord, we're wanting more of you. We want to glorify you. We want to lift you up. We want you to reign supreme in everything that's done, not only in these meetings, but in this year. And Lord, from the, the few things that you've shared with me, we are going to be facing some things this year that are not going to be necessarily easy for everyone in this nation. And there's purposes for it, and there's something you're beginning to work out in it. So tonight, Tonight, we start by saying, we reaffirm the fact we are your people and you are our God. There is no God in our life but you. You are first. You are preeminent. You are predominant. We serve you above all. In Jesus' name, Father, you're it. You're it. And no matter what our future may hold, no matter what these meetings may hold, this is all about we want more of you. And we want to become a people that you can depend on, that you can speak to and guide and direct and do things in our spheres of influence and accomplish great and mighty things. We are a needy people, but we want to get past being so needy so we can start ministering and shining the light and show you to be glorious. And we know we always will have some form of need, and we acknowledge that. You are the vine, we're the branches, and without you, we can't do anything. But Lord, we have covenant with you. We're your covenant partners. We're the ones on this earth you're looking to. It's your church you're looking to, to make a difference in this world. And we want to be part of making that difference. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We welcome you. We know you're with us, we know you're in us, but we don't want to take anything for granted. You're the friend of the groom who's been sent to be our helper, to be that paraclete who walks along with us. We welcome you, not only for these meetings, we welcome you for this year, we welcome you for the rest of our lives. We welcome you. You are always welcome. Always welcome. And I pray there's nothing we do that offends you or grieves you or pushes you away. And if there's things going on that we are doing that is doing that, show us. Show us. We are a people who are quick to obey. We are a people who are quick to obey. So we welcome you to come and be the spirit of Christ, the spirit of the anointing, and to manifest to do what you desire. And tonight our heart's cry is to lift up Jesus and to lift up the Father, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, and we can't accomplish that without you, Holy Spirit. So we're asking right now, help us worship. Help us move in what he wants done tonight. And Lord, help us worship and help us move in what he wants done this year. In Jesus' name. 
No matter what calamities may come, no matter what catastrophes may come, no matter what opposition may come, we believe you are greater and you will flow in the middle of these things to turn hearts of men back to the Father. And you're going to use us to do it. Your church, not this, not just this local body, but your church. So we start these meetings, we start this year. We're not here to offer lip service and our heart be far from you. We do not want the prophecy of Isaiah to apply to us. With their lips they worship me, but they worship me in vain because their hearts and their minds are far from me. Lord, that's not us. And if it is, arrest us, convince us, show us where we need to make the correction. We want to worship you in spirit and truth and be true worshipers of God. So we submit ourselves to you. We submit our families to you. We submit the young people. We submit the children. Anyone who's still in the age of directives, we give the direction. We submit them. And we call their hearts be submitted. In Jesus' name. Let's sing in the spirit here for a bit. strong not that we lord it over your faith but our workers with you for your joy for in your faith you are standing firm Christ was faithful as a son over his house whose house we are if we hold fast our confidence and boast of our hope firm until the end for we have become partakers of Christ if we hold fast the beginning of our assurance firm until the end therefore since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens Jesus the Son of God let us hold fast our confession the Spirit, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes the oil of gladness instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of the spirit of despair my people I call you to rise up rise up I call this for two reasons Number one, I call this over you because I love you. No matter what darkness comes, the light must rise above it to stay lit and be seen. 
no matter how high the waters rise, the lighthouse must be higher. The boy with the blinking light on the water must stay on top of the water to be seen. No matter what this world and its system may begin to unleash, no matter what it may begin to unleash, I call you to rise up and be on top of this thing, not underneath. I call you to be a beacon in the light, a light in the night that will show me. Rise up, my people. Rise up, my people. You must become firm in me. The time of wishy-washiness is quickly coming to an end. You must be firm in me and you must rise to the top. These things that keep pulling you under must leave your life if you will be victorious and an overcomer this year. You must quit being in and out and in and out. Decide tonight who you will serve. You must rise up for your own protection and safety and perseverance. You must rise up, cut the chains, the shackles that only let you rise to a certain point. You must sever them or the circumstances of this year will wash over you and drown you. Cut the things that are tying you to this world's system. So you can rise however high I need you to rise to be above and not beneath. To be over and not under. And the only way my people can rise up is to understand my love for them. If you will get only a glimpse of how much I love you, all here and there, in and out, to and fro, up and down, Sometimes yes, sometimes no. All the tossing to and fro will be stabilized. There is an anchor that is secure for your soul. And it is my love for you. Determine to make a decision to receive and know my love for you. You must rise up. You must. You must. You must. And you will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. You will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. You will renew the ruined cities that have been de devastated for generations. You are called priests of the Lord. You are named ministers of our God. 
you will feed on the wealth of nations and in their riches you will boast instead of shame you will receive a double portion instead of disgrace you will rejoice in your inheritance and you will inherit a double portion and everlasting joy will be yours for I the Lord love justice I hate robbery and iniquity in my faithfulness I will reward you I have made an everlasting covenant with you and your descendants will be known among the nations and your offspring among the people and all who see you and your offspring will acknowledge you and your offspring are a people that the Lord has blessed my people rise up into me rise up into me my people rise up into me let go let go of those things that bind you turn from those things and end it for good rise up into me In Jesus' name. So as we're trying to find the leading of the Spirit here tonight, I walked over and I, I laid my, my hand on Judy's shoulder and said, do you have anything yet? And as I touched her, I had this picture of her laying hands on anyone here tonight who wants it. It's voluntary. But if everyone wants hands laid on them, she will lay hands on everyone. And it has a very specific purpose of impartation. So I'm going to let what the Lord gave her, I'll let her share that. And then we're going to move into this. And ushers, we're going to need you to make some lines. And the lines don't necessarily have to be in front if it gets too crowded. They can go anywhere guys so be willing to break tradition <laughs> band don't go too far because we're going to need you again oh. <sighs> in his presence there's fullness of joy The impartation will be an impartation of God's agape love. That love that has no boundaries, no conditions. That love that loves in spite of how we act, of who we are. Oh, he spoke to me and said, let tell the people I am going to impart by the laying on of hands into their spirit. I'm going to open their spirit. Oh my God. And I'm going to put my love in their spirit so that my love can flow out to a lost and dying, hurting world that lives in darkness. First Corinthians 16, 14, let all, all your things be done in love. Let all your things be done in love. In John chapter 4, verse 24, Jesus is speaking to the woman at the well. And he said, God, 
is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit. Oh. 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 Jesus in Luke eleven forty two, he's he's speaking to the Pharisees and he says, Woe unto you Pharisees, you tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs and pass over judgment and the love of God. These you ought to do, but the other you should not leave undone. Did you know we're to tithe the love of God? 10% of the love you've received from God today, you should tithe to other people. Oh, my God. <laughs> Transformation is coming. Transformation is coming. We've received the love of God, but we've withheld it from each other. We've withheld it from our families. Proverbs 23, 7, as he thinketh. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. As he thinketh in his heart. So is he, as he thinketh. I hear God saying, think, love. God is a spirit. And do we want to worship him? Yes. Is he worthy of our worship? First John 4 and 8, God is love. So if God is a spirit and God is love, then the spirit that God is is the spirit of love. God wants us to have a consciousness of just in everything we say and do, letting his love just flow out of us in everything. Love changed your life since Monday, hadn't, has it, Ashley? Yeah. Love changed. Tell them how love changed you. Tell the people how. I can forgive those that hurt me so badly and all the loss that I had. And I can really love myself the way I want to. <laughs> and I can feel how much he loves me and I want to let him love me now. And I want to give that love out to other people. <laughs> With a lot. In the darkness. With a lot. God is love. And if we would just, it starts right now. Right now. I see on faces right now. You're making a, you, you've had a change of heart. Big time. Major, major big time. <laughs> oh, praise God. Let me sit. What happened? It happened. It happened, didn't it? It did. It really did. It really happened. <laughs> and you will never be the same again. Now you will impact lives for the kingdom of God. And many will come to know the Savior because of the love you receive. They receive from you as you just let it flow out of you.
We're in open heavens. Jesus was baptized of John in the river Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, the heavens were opened. Woo! Woo Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It happened. It happened. The heavens. Woo, I'm going to sit here for a while. All right. The heavens were opened and the spirit descended upon mm. Jesus like a dove. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was then that he began to heal the people. Love heals. Love heals. Love, Love heals. <laughs> He's putting you back together. <laughs> Your heart is, that's been broken in so many pieces. Mm. He is mending you and making you whole again so that you can go. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, no, it's happening. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no, it's happening. He's so wonderful. Jesus, you're yes, so yes. wonderful. You're so good. You're so good. You're so beautiful. <laughs> God, your idea, your plan, your purpose works for us, yeah. God. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> Ah. Whoa. That was something, that was something wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. <laughs> can't that. uh -uh, you can't <laughs> fake it. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, there's liberty. Whoa. Unforgiveness is leaving yep. yeah. your bodies. You, you won't even have to work at it. Yeah. Whoa. Praise You'll just say, Father, forgive them. They didn't know what they was doing. Huh. That's how it happened to you, wasn't it? <laughs> Can I share about Dominic what you said? Yeah. She, Ashley had such a wall up. She said, I don't even know how to love my own son. I don't even know how to give him my love. But she said, I'm going home and do it. Yeah. <laughs> what happened, Dominic? She ended up just sitting here and uh, we were just sitting here talking to each other and then we ended up just sitting with each other and I just felt this peace start to come between us and it was like, Amen. well, that's okay. got to be the love. That's the love, baby. Yeah, yeah it is. Whoa. And once you ever feel it, can you give it away now? You got to give it away. <laughs> you you got to give, give it away. It away. <laughs> It's all I saw you can do with it. Yep. And listen, listen. <laughs> the, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. The more you give it away, it's a seed, love is. <laughs> Ooh, it's a seed. And you start to plant it into people, and it brings you a harvest. The more you plant, the bigger the harvest. And the more the harvest, the more you have to give away. We owe it to God. We owe it to God to love the world. For God so loved the world that he gave. Oh, oh. oh hallelujah. God so loved the world that he gave. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> good, stuff. good stuff. Oh, hallelujah. Okay. Is everybody ready to get an impartation from God of his agape love? That, and listen, never look at people again the way you've looked at them through the natural eyes. Now, not only will you get his love, but you'll get his eyes of compassion. And that's how you will see people from now on. You will not judge. We will not. He said, judge not. Matthew 7, 1. Lest you be judged. He didn't call us to judge. He called us to love. And we're going to love. We're going to make Jesus famous. Yes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to glorify God. Yes. 
We're going to give God the honor and the glory he deserves. And we're going to set him in a high place. And everybody who encounters you will be changed. The atmosphere will be changed. Your workplace, but it's going to start in your home. On your way home tonight, release his agape love. If you're riding with somebody, oh, my goodness. Oh, Oh, he's wrecking you with his love. <laughs> oh, you are so beautiful. He is wrecking you. <laughs> the devil tried to wreck you. He didn't try hard enough. <laughs> but God's wrecking you with his love. You will never, ever again. You will leave different than you can. <laughs> I do promise you that. Give the Lord a hand. Oh, Woo! Hallelujah! <laughs> hallelujah! Woo! -hoo! Give the Lord a hand. All right, y'all. I don't.